Well, the Sioux Falls City election is in the books, and now people are looking what's in store for the next four years. Kelland's Renee Ortiz sat down with Mayor Paul Tenhaken on what his plans are now that he's been reelected. Now that election day is over, Mayor Paul Tenhaken is taking the day off and gearing up for his next steps. So the next two days is really just kind of winding down the campaign and getting that finished. Uh, now we look forward to the next four years. Ten Haken campaigned on improving housing, infrastructure, workforce, and public safety, and won the election by more than 14,000 votes. Those things are important to voters um, because that's what they voted for yesterday, and that's what we're going to keep focusing on then in the next four years. When addressing the low voter turnout for this election, Ten Haken stressed the importance of casting a ballot. I spent the last four or five months beating the drum on the importance of local elections and your your sewer and your water and your police and your education and your road. I mean, those are all local government issues. Um, and we had a 27% turnout. So it's hard to know what you can do to energize voters more to get involved in local elections. Another growing issue in the community is the child care crisis. During his campaign, the mayor said he has several collaborations on the horizon. Again, like most of these challenges, it's not necessarily just the cities to solve. Child care is going to be our church community, our school community, our business community are going to all have to line up to see what are we going to do about this increasingly growing challenge of uh, lack of affordable child care. In Sioux Falls, Renee Ortiz, Kelloland News. During the next four years, Ten Haken says he also plans to continue to work toward his vision of one Sioux Falls.